Heidi, welcome to my bedroom. Okay, that's enough. Hey guys, it's Sab. Welcome back to my channel. Today, due to popular demand, I will be showing you a tour of my bedroom as a second year medical student. Right now, I'm in something called pre-clerkship, so we still have your traditional lecture and testing style content, so I spend 99% of my time cooped up in here. And since I'm here so often, I really wanted to invest time and resources into making this place that I feel excited coming home to. I've found that my environment really impacts my mood and my productivity, so I really wanted to make it aesthetic and organized and nice enough that I don't lose my mind while I'm cramming for my exams at 4 in the morning. So we'll take a look around, I'll highlight some key features, and hopefully give you some inspiration for your own room in the process. So welcome to my room! Alright, so this is directly behind my bedroom door and it's where I store all of my bags and my backpacks and my scarves. Is there a better way to organize this? I'm sure there is, but <laughs> I feel like this works for me. So I have all of my purses here and my tote bags. This is the infamous backpack that Canadian medical students receive on their first year of school. It's cute, but unfortunately I never use it because it's absolutely massive, but I like to put it here to gas myself up when I'm not feeling the best. Okay, this is kind of a weird shot, but these were my bags and directly opposite that I have some more nails in the wall that holds up my big fluffy robe because it gets really cold where I'm from. And this is my main school backpack. It's the one that I bring to classes and all my lectures every day. It's the Lululemon on the go one, which I recently discovered has become the it or like the basic backpack, but what am I gonna do about that? This is my Miffy keychain that I made. Oh, it's actually my pride and joy. It's my favorite thing in the world. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Sab's bag. I'm actually like <laughs> I'm a preschooler. So in case I lose my bag, they'll know hopefully that it belongs to me. Okay, so I wanted to take a brief intermission to be real with you guys for a second. You might be looking at my room while it's in this immaculate state and think to yourself, wow, she's so organized and neat and aesthetic. Wrong. I am not. This is what my bedroom looks like 99.999% of the time. I just knew you guys were coming over, so I spent days buying new decor, organizing everything, deep cleaning my room for the first time. <laughs> I wanted to impress y'all so bad that I ironed my duvet cover like those psychopaths on TikTok. So please don't feel bad if your room isn't this organized or well kept. My bedroom is never this well kept, but my mom always told me to clean up when guests were coming over, so I really pulled out all the stops because I had a very special guest coming this way. But this is the best my room is ever going to look, so let's keep going. Oh my gosh, wait, my phone. Hold on. This this is the setup of the rest of the room. So I'm going to organize this tour kind of by section. Over here is the closet. This is my dresser. This is my desk and that's my bed. So let's go section by section starting off with the closet. Hey! Welcome to my closet. It has double doors like this and I'm so grateful to finally have a bedroom where I have enough storage for all of my clothes because I may have a small hoarding addiction. And here is a brief overview of what's in there. You can see I have it organized by color over here. All of the creams, beiges, grays to blues. And then, and then it switches to the greens, the navies, the black clothes, the browns again, and then my winter coats. And I don't know if you guys are like me, but I used to have a problem where I would get those little creases on the shoulders from the hangers. So this is how I fold my more delicate or bulky sweaters and cardigans. I love clothes. I'm by no means a big fashion girly or whatever, but I feel like it's a really fun way to express myself through my clothing. So here are some of my favorites. This is my goose sweater that says wow. Wow. This is my adorable sheep cardigan. It has little sheep on it that are 3D. I know these aren't technically the most stylish things, but I feel like they're so much fun and they have so much personality. When I was over at the children's hospital and I was visiting some of the kids that had cancer, I would always make a point to wear something like this because it would cheer them up and 
I have very many good memories associated with these kinds of clothes, so I'm never gonna get rid of them. Here is my Patagonia school merch. I wear it when I'm feeling down, so the clout revives me. <laughs> this is my Lululemon Define jacket, also known as the BBL jacket. This is really good when you want to feel like a Hamptons, Beverly Hills, Pilates mom who only drinks green juice. And this is my full-length mirror. I use this to take all of my mirror selfies. If you guys remember from my previous vlog, this is the mirror that I was referring to when I was talking about what hit my light cover and smashed it. And this mirror is from somewhere on Danforth. I'm gonna put it on the screen here. I was so gung-ho on purchasing it that even though I didn't have a car to pick it up and I refused to pay for an Uber, I carried it all the way to the TTC on the subway home and all the way home. So I love this mirror and it was worth the hassle. And this is my dresser. This is where I get ready in the morning, where I practice concepts to myself in the mirror, and where I have very passionate concerts where I perform to myself. Just as a note on where everything is from, I would say pretty much all of my furniture is from Ikea. So this mirror is from Ikea. I got it from the as is section for a discount. This is the mom, mom dresser. And a lot of my containers and my bins over here are from either Home scents or winners are from some other random department store or it's thrifted. Starting off with the things that are on top of the dresser, over here on the left I have all of my makeup. I have these little acrylic containers that hold all of my lip products, my blush, my lip liners, and some contour over here as well. Here I have some eyeshadows, a moldy beauty blender or a beauty blender dupe. And I have all of my makeup brushes here as well. I try and keep things as compact as possible and really only keep it to the things that I need because I too was a victim of the 2012 makeup hoarding and I'm in recovery. These are these beautiful tulips that <laughs> I bought myself because I've really been suffering from the perils of school so I like to buy these to cheer me up every now and then. Scooting over further to the right, this is where I keep my jewelry and my skincare and perfumes and all that jazz. This is a little statue of Athena that I got when I was in Greece and this is a remnant of my crippling childhood Percy Jackson obsession. My favorite perfumes are the Glossier U and the Prada Sport. One time I was in class in one of our smaller group sessions and somebody started sniffing asking what that was and it was me. In a good way though, I hope. And I just have a lot of miscellaneous things here as well, like my sunscreen, some more perfume. This is my mirror, which I use to put on my makeup and my skincare. And these are two acrylic cubes that stack up, and this is where I store all of my jewelry. All right, so moving on to what's in my drawers. This is where I store the rest of my clothes and some of my other toiletries and miscellaneous things. Up here, I should open that. These are all of my delicate, and those will remain a mystery. But I can show you the rest of it. Over here is where I store all of my sleepwear and all of my gym clothes. Below it, I have the first half of my pants and my sleeping shorts. Scooting over to the right, this is where I have... Okay, um... I know this looks like a small intestine, but I accidentally spilled acetone and it bubbled up like this. So let's just cover that. So, okay, it's there too. Let's cover that up. These are my shorts, the rest of my pants, some sweatpants as well, and everything is also all rolled up. And the last of my clothes are over here, and these are all of my going out tops. And I try and organize this by color as well. I used to fold my clothes and stack it on top of each other, but this method is so much better. So this is how to roll your clothes to save space in your drawers. And finally, one of these is not like the others. This is where I store a lot of my toiletries and my stash of eczema things. So here on the left are these microfiber towels that I got from Amazon. I learned recently that if you use a different towel to wipe and wash your face every day that you won't break out as much. So this is me testing that out. What else can I highlight? Oh my god, these Peppa Pig band-aids, so much fun. But the real highlight of this drawer is this. Okay, wait, let me get it out. Let's go through my big bin of eczema cream together. This is what I think is worthwhile content. <laughs> so I've had eczema all of my life, and so that's why if I really zoom in, no, don't do that. You'll see that my face is a little bit flaky. So over the years, I've been collecting eczema creams and then forgetting that I have them and then buying more eczema creams, so that's why I have a whole collection of it. So here is an eczema cream tour. I have this one from Polysporin, this hand cream, and then I have this Uramol one, and then... <gasps> Oh my god, I already had one, and then I just bought this one. Okay, 
Um, guys, if I get to a certain number of subscribers, we're going to do an eczema cream giveaway. <laughs> And then I have glycemed, and then a bigger version of the glycemed, more polysporin, hydrocortisone, white petroleum jelly, more hydrocortisone ointment. Put down in the comments what your favorite eczema cream is for a chance to win one of my unused eczema lotion bottles. <laughs> I think I'm so funny, but when I watch these back and edit them, I have to cut them out just because they're so bad. But maybe this one will stay in, who knows. And that was the dresser. Let's turn around 180 degrees and look at the desk, which is probably my favorite part of my room. Oh, didn't see you there. I was just subscribing to... <laughs> but if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. This is my desk, welcome. This, like I said earlier, is the most frequented part of my room. I am here very often studying, so I really wanted to make it a space that I enjoyed being in. My main priorities was that I wanted to make it as clean, minimal, and organized as possible. And I really wanted to make sure I had a lot of desk space. So if I really needed to write anything or to have my iPad out or to take notes or anything, I had space to do that. So I love this area. It's one of my favorites because I am here literally all the time. So let me give you a tour of the space. Should we do it sitting? No, we should not do it sitting. But let's give another overview about where everything is from. So this is my desk and I kind of just hodgepodge a bunch of pieces from Ikea together. These are the Ikea Alex drawers. This is a tabletop also from Ikea. And then I just have these two table legs. So all together, it makes my giga desk. This chair is also from Ikea, which I really like, but I just wish it had armrests. But let's start off by talking about what's on top of the table. So over here, I have this organizer that holds up all of my devices upright. This is my iPad Pro. I have the 12.9 inch one with a Logitech keyboard. This is my MacBook that powers what's on my dual monitor setup. This is a desk pad and I got it in this lovely green color. I use the Apple keyboard and the Logitech mouse. And here are my monitors. This is a Philips monitor and this is an Asus one. On this monitor, I have my Logitech webcam. And fun fact, this is the webcam that I used to film my very first Notion video. So we've come a long way. And because of the disparity in height and because I really wanted it to be as level as possible on the top, I have these two books that are carrying my smaller monitor. And this, does he need any introduction? It's my mouse sunny angel. And so I wanted as little things as possible to be on my workspace, only the very, very essentials. So that's why instead of putting a lamp on the table, I decided to bolt it to the wall and it just lights up like this. Also, instead of having a headphone stand somewhere on my table, I have it hidden over here in the corner with this little hook that sticks to the underside of the table and this is where I hang my headphones. These are my noise cancelling Sony XM4s and I really recommend getting these as a student. This is a plastic floor mat from Ikea which I use to help my chair move around a little bit easier. This is very good especially if you have a carpet. This is my best attempt at a cable management system. I just bought all of these tracks, are those what it's called, from Amazon. I mean look, listen. It doesn't look that bad here, but if we turn a corner, it's a little bit, it's a little bit crazy. So out of sight, out of mind. And then another look into my cable management. You can see that this is what connects my computer to my monitors. And I have just a bunch of different extension cords to plug everything in. I'd say this is pretty organized, wouldn't you? Now let's take a look at what's in these drawers. Here are my most high traffic items. I guess a calculator, my passport, all of my glasses and my sunglasses I store in this energy holder. Moving on to the next drawer, this is where I store a lot of my papers and pens, some of my old Polaroids. And I wanted to highlight this and this which is another abandoned hobby that I had. So I had a phase where I wanted to get into watercolors, but not your regular watercolors. It's the mini ones, like a travel notebook. I used to paint these buildings. Listen, I'm not an artist artist by any means, but these were really fun to do. And I like to keep it in here. So hopefully I get to a point where I get back to painting these because these are really fun. But I wanted to highlight this watercolor kit. It's from Windsor and Newton. Cause look at how compact it is. Okay, this just looks like a Nokia brick. But if you take the top off, if we open it like this, it's a full watercolor set. This is the paintbrush. Look how compact, isn't that so smart y'all? 
This is the paintbrush. And then if we open this, and then open this, this is where you have all of the baby paints and you have all of this space here too to mix your colors. Moving on to the third drawer, this is where I keep all of my cables and my chargers, old phone cases, portable chargers, all that jazz. And this is a really good time to highlight this bad boy hiding in here. Oh, bug killer. And this is my Anki remote. So I think one of the best purchases I ever made for med school is this Anki remote. I got it on Amazon. If you guys don't know what Anki is, it's a flashcard app that pretty much everyone in med school uses to review lectures and memorize all of the content. And you typically have to use your mouse or the keyboard to click through all of the cards. But with this, I could stand in the corner of my room and just... And I just find that I'm so much more motivated to actually do my cards and I get through them a lot faster when I have this remote. And then finally, over here in the bottom, is where I keep even more miscellaneous things. Like the case for my headphones, this is my stethoscope. So I think that the stethoscope is one of the quintessential symbols of being a doctor or a med student. So I also thought that once you got into med that they would give you a stethoscope, but no, you have to buy your own. Anyway, so this is my stethoscope. It's a Lippmann Cardio 3, and I got it in the green color. If you can't tell, green is my favorite color, and it's engraved with my name. And that was the desk. If you would like a video about me talking about how I set everything up, or maybe all of my favorite tech that I use for school, I can definitely do that. So leave that in the comments below. Now let's move to the top of the shelf. Okay, say it with me. Where's this from? One, two, three. Ikea! Over here is where I keep my philodendron Brazil. This is my newest plant. Over here I have a little pencil container that's really ugly, so I try and hide it behind this plant. This, guys, I bought these just for you. I used to love those Zoella videos or those lifestyle vlogs where they decorate for every single season because they have the money to do that, so this is my best attempt at recreating that. And then on the right... <laughs> I also have these Lego flower bouquet that's very cute. And then I also have this little mouse popping out of this cheese. Okay, well I'm sitting on the ground. Great filming set. And I wanted to talk about this bad boy, which is my electric guitar. So I feel like a common underlying theme in most of the things that I've shown is that I have this really bad habit of picking up new hobbies, spending a lot of money and investing in it, and then abandoning it. And this is a prime example of that. So when I was studying for the MCAT, I had several mental breakdowns, and during one of those breakdowns, I thought it would be a really fun idea to buy an electric guitar. <laughs> If you're in the Ottawa or Toronto area and want this, please buy it off me. I could use the money. But now, let's move up to one of my newest additions, the IKEA pegboard. This is my IKEA pegboard system that holds all of my YouTube filming and camera equipment. Alright, so that was my desk. This is where I spend all of my time studying, answering emails, studying, attending meetings, studying, sometimes eating, and then studying. And with that, that brings us over to our very last part of the room tour, and that is my bed. This is my bed. My bed is where I sleep, where I study some more, I watch some lectures, I read my books here, I contemplate life, I take naps, and let me tell you where everything is from. You may find this hard to believe, but this bed is actually not from Ikea. Surprisingly, this is from Amazon. So I have this headboardless bed, so it's just the frame here in the bottom, and it's just very simple and very minimalistic. I was really inspired by the Japanese and the Scandi designs, and so I wanted my bed to be as simple as possible. On top of that is a mattress also from Amazon, and I love it so much. I've had it for several years and it really holds up. I recently switched up my bedding. I always used to have this white duvet, these white pillowcases, and the green throw. But once again, I had very special guests coming my way, so I wanted to judge it up a bit. I have four pillows, and I don't care if people say that that's way too much. I think anybody that sleeps with only one pillow is a little bit messed up in the head. I am a young mother, and these are my two children. This is Blahaj. He's also from Ikea. And this over here is Declan. Directly on top of it is, we're going back to Ikea, another photo shelf from Ikea. 
But what you will notice is that the space directly in front of my bed is empty and I made that purposeful because at night what I actually do is that I take my projector and I move the art out of the way and I put this over here and I actually can project movies or TV shows onto the wall and I watch it there. All right, and that was my bed. So let's pivot all the way over here. And this is where I have this random table that holds all of my books. Initially, I didn't really have a rhyme or reason on how I organized it, but I wanted to impress you guys again. So here is a montage of me trying my best to organize it by color. But yeah, I love reading. Reading is a really big part of my life and my personality. I feel that sometimes I get so cooped up in my own world and so closed in on just the things that I do in a day-to-day -day basis that I kind of forget that there's a whole other world out there. So I like to immerse myself in the stories of other people. Over here is one of my best purchases ever. And guess where it's from? Yes, you'll never believe it. It's from Ikea, and it's this little cloud lamp that attaches to the wall. It was so easy to set up, and I could prove it to you because this is me actually setting it up. It's the perfect amount of soft, diffuse light, especially at night. It looks so good, and it just has a little switch over here. Then over here is my side table. I have a couple of fun things here. This is my lamp that's super compact. It can fold over, and then there are certain levels to change the brightness of the light. This is my alarm clock, and it's not a regular alarm clock. It's actually meant for people that are hearing impaired, so it's super loud. But not only that, it has a special attachment that I put under my pillow. And what it does is that when my alarm is ringing, this physically shakes. So it wakes me up, not only by the sound, but by the sensation of my bed shaking. I would say that one of my biggest flaws is that it's almost impossible for me to wake up in the morning. I have trouble falling asleep and trouble waking up. So that's why I have this special alarm that's actually meant for practically deaf people. And another thing that I have is this charging system. And so I can charge my phone my Apple Watch, and my AirPods all at once. I will say it's a pretty crap charger. It takes forever to charge, but it is really convenient to have this all in one place instead of having all those different plugs. And that concludes our room tour. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found it entertaining. You may have learned a little bit more about me and hopefully you gained some inspiration for your place to turn it into an environment that you love, you enjoy, and that you're happy to be in. If you have any specific questions about the way I organize things or where everything's from, feel free to throw them in the comments below. And if you made it this far, please comment below where you're from and what you do for a living because I read all of your comments. I try and respond to all of them and it's so exciting to see that my videos go all around the world. So I'd love to to know more about you guys so put that down in the comments and I'd love to read it. Also if you have any specific requests for video ideas I would love to hear it. I'm constantly coming up with new ideas but at the end of the day I want to make things that you guys will enjoy so just let me know. As always thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.